Welcome to another module in this massive open online course on probability and random variables uh, for wireless communications. In the previous modules, in the recent previous modules, we have seen random processes and a special kind of a specific subclass of random processes that is wide sense stationary random processes. We have defined this property of wide sense stationarity of a random process. Now let us look at another interesting property of a wide sense stationary random process which is known as the power spectral density and this is a very important quantity for a wide sense stationary random process. So what we want to start looking at today is another new and important concept which is the which is the power spectral density and I am also going to abbreviate this as PSD, the power spectral density. And what is the power spectral density? We have already seen that for a wide sense stationary random process for a WSS, which is basically for a wide sense stationary for a wide sense stationary for a wide sense stationary random process we have the autocorrelation function which is defined as the expected value of x of t into x of t plus tau which is equal to r x x that is depends only on the time shift down that is the correlation at two time instants that is if we consider a random process x t the correlation at two time instances t and t plus tau that is expected value of x t times x t plus tau depends only on the time shift tau and is denoted by r x x of tau and this is remember this is for a random process that is the random process for a random process x for a random process x t. Now for this random process with this autocorrelation function remember this is also known as the autocorrelation function, autocorrelation function and this depends only on the time shift. depends only on the time shift tau that is remember this depends only the autocorrelation depends for a wide sense stationary random process depends only on the time shift tau and not the specific time instant t. And now for this wide sense stationary random process we can define the power spectral density and the power spectral density is simply given as the Fourier transform of the autocorrelation function. So the power spectral density which is denoted in the frequency domain this is naturally the spectral density so it is defined in the frequency domain. So the power spectral density the power spectral or the PSD of a wide sense stationary random process x of t is defined as it is denoted by s x x of f this is the power spectral density and it is defined as the Fourier transform of the autocorrelation function that is integral minus infinity to infinity r x x of tau e to the power of minus j 2 pi f tau d tau. So the power spectral density the PSD what do we have over here? We have the PSD, the power spectral density is basically equal to what is this equal to? This is equal to the Fourier transform, 
Fourier transform of the autocorrelation of the autocorrelation function R x x of tau. So, the power spectral density S x x of f, it is in the frequency domain for the random process x of t at frequency f is defined as the Fourier transform of the autocorrelation function R x x tau that is integral minus infinity to infinity R x x tau e to the power of minus e raise to minus g 2 pi f tau d tau. Okay. So, naturally now using the inverse Fourier transform one can say that the autocorrelation function is the inverse Fourier transform of the power spectral density. Since the power spectral density is the Fourier transform of the autocorrelation, so naturally it follows that the autocorrelation is the inverse Fourier transform of the power spectral density. And therefore, I can also write so naturally, so PSD the power spectral density is the Fourier transform of our x x tau. Therefore, the autocorrelation Therefore, therefore, the autocorrelation that is R x x of tau equals inverse Fourier transform of the power spectral density S x x of f and this can be denoted as R x x of tau equals integral minus infinity to infinity S x x of f e to the power of j 2 pi f t d f that is integration with respect to f since this is the inverse Fourier transform. So, autocorrelation the autocorrelation function R x x tau is the inverse Fourier transform of the power spectral density S x x f which is basically integral minus infinity to infinity S x x f e to the power of j 2 pi f tau d f that is integral with respect to x f over the frequency domain. So, this let me just clarify this again. So, autocorrelation this is equal to inverse the inverse Fourier transform the inverse Fourier transform of the power spectral density. Further, some interesting properties of the power spectral density can be shown, which I am not going to prove here properties of the power spectral density. One is it is a power. So, naturally it can be shown that the power spectral density because it is associated with power it has to be greater than or equal to 0. That is the power spectral density is greater than or equal to 0. Further naturally it is greater, it is a power. So, it has to be a real quantity, right. It cannot be a complex quantity since it is related to the density of power. This is also a real quantity. It is real. So, it is a real quantity. It is greater than or equal to 0 further it is symmetric about the frequency domains further it is symmetric in the sense that s x x of f equals s x x of minus x. So, we are saying that the power spectral density is basically a real quantity which is always greater than or equal to 0 and it is also symmetric that is the power spectral density s x x at f is equal to the power spectral density S x x at minus f. Okay. And another interesting property if you can look at it from this integral 
for the inverse Fourier transform we have R x x tau is the inverse Fourier transform of the power spectral density. Now, if I set tau is equal to 0, so now if I set tau is equal to 0 what I have is that setting tau equal to 0 in the inverse Fourier transform in the inverse Fourier transform above we have R x x of 0 is the inverse Fourier transform evaluated at tau equal to 0 that is S x x of f e raise to j 2 pi f 0 d f. Now, e raise to j 2 pi f 0 is 1. So, therefore, we have r x x of 0 which is equal to integral minus infinity to infinity s x x of f times e raise to 2 pi j f 0 this is 1 times d f. Now, we can clearly see r x x 0 that is the autocorrelation at tau equal to 0 this is expected x t square this is the power of random process x t that is what we have seen. this is the power of the random process x t and this is simply integral of the power spectral density over the frequency domain. This is integral, this is simply the integral of the power spectral density over the entire frequency over the entire frequency range. That is what we are seeing is R x x 0 that is autocorrelation of the random process at uh, delay tau equal to 0 is equal to integral minus infinity to infinity S x x f d f which basically R x x 0 is the power of the random process x t which is basically equal to the integral of the power spectral density over the entire frequency domain or basically the area under the power spectral density from minus infinity to infinity. Okay. So, that is basically the power of the random another way to express another formula for the power of the random process x t in terms of the power spectral density s x x of f. And not only that there is another interesting property of the power spectral density which can be explained as follows that is if we want to find the power in a frequency band omega f 1 to f 2. So, let us consider a power spectral density s x x of f. So, this is my power spectral density s x x of f and I want to find the power in frequency band f 1 to f 2. So, I want to find the frequency power in the frequency band f 1 to f 2 for corresponding to this random process x t. So, consider frequency band f 1 to f 2 consider consider the frequency band f 1 to f 2 and we can ask the question what is the power what is the power of random process x t in the frequency band f 1 to f 2 and the answer to the question is very interesting the power in the frequency band f 1 to f 2 is basically the area under the power spectral density from minus f 2 to minus f 1 and f 1 to f 2 and therefore, this power in the frequency band power of random process x t in spectral band f 1 to f 2 this is equal to what is this? 
this is equal to integral minus f 2 to minus f 1 s x x of f times d x d f plus integral f 1 to f 2 s x x of f d f. In other words, the area under the power spectral density from minus f 2 to minus f 1 and f 1 to f 2 this area this area under the power spectral density. So, this and as you know s x x of minus s f is s x x of f and therefore, this is equal to basically twice integral f 1 to f 2 s x x of f d f and this what is this? We are saying this is the power in the random process this is an interesting property power in random process x t corresponding to frequency or the spectral band this is the power in the random process corresponding to the spectral band f 1 to f 2. So, so one can ask, so the total power is basically the integral of the power spectral density over the entire frequency band that is minus infinity to infinity and the power of the random process x t corresponding to a particular spectral band between f 1 to f 2 that is corresponding to the bandwidth f 2 minus f 1 between frequencies f 1 and f 2 is twice the integral from f 1 to f 2 of the power spectral density s x x f multiplied by d f. Yeah? So, the power spectral density integral uh, twice of the integral of the power spectral density between f 1 and f 2 yields the power of the random process in the spectral band f 1 to f 2 and that is a very interesting result as we are going to see in an application um, shortly. So, what we have seen in this module is basically we have seen various aspects uh, of the power spectral density. We have said that this is a power spectral density, power spectral density of a wide sense stationary random process which is basically defined in terms of the autocorrelation function that is the power spectral density s x x f of random wide sense stationary random process x t is nothing, but the autocorrelation, but the Fourier transform of the autocorrelation function r x x tau and therefore, similarly the autocorrelation the uh, uh, autocorrelation is given as the inverse Fourier transform of the power spectral density. Further, the power spectral density is symmetric and it is always greater than or equal to 0 since it is a quantity associated with the power. More importantly what we have seen is basically that the power of the random process x t is basically the integral of the power spectral density over the entire frequency range minus infinity to infinity and specifically the power in any frequency band f 1 to f 2 can be calculated as the area under the power spectral density. Uh, as twice the area under power spectral density between f 1 to f 2 and this is and therefore, this power spectral density is a very key uh, quantity very important quantity to both analyze and examine and understand uh, the, prob, uh, the random process x t. So, we will stop this module here and look at an application in the subsequent module. Thank you very much.